Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to let everyone in, Thomas. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Shabbat Shalom. It's, uh, it's great to see you here, those here in the sanctuary, as well as those joining us from home. Shabbat Shalom. I'm pleased to be here tonight with uh, Liv Musumeci, who's leading music, uh, Thomas Burke, who's helping us on tech, and we have two special guests who in a short time won't be guests anymore. They'll be right at home uh, with, with, uh, with all of you, um, Rabbi Rebecca Epstein and student cantor Gabriel Lerman. Um, they will uh, come up toward the end of the service to extend a greeting to you, but if you were thinking of coming and maybe didn't and maybe you want to reconsider, um, if you want to pop over, you'll get a chance to meet them after our Shabbat service, meet them in person. So um, as uh, our thoughts turn to Shabbat, um, I, I recall a story, I don't know if it's true or not, about someone who left their car at uh, the shop with a note uh, under the uh, windshield wiper. The note said, brakes don't work, please fix horn. Now, the, uh, we all know you need both a horn and brakes uh, working in your car. Um, but when we come to Shabbat, um, we, we take a different perspective on this. You see, during the week, um, we use the horn. On Shabbat, well, you, I'm sure you guessed it, we put on the brakes, right? And uh, during the week, people are in our way. On Shabbat, people are the way. So we welcome Shabbat with song and prayer and light as uh, Liv will lead us in our opening song. Yes. Hello, everyone. Good Shabbos. Thank you so much for coming. Um, we are opening with Mies Morshir. It's on page 22. If you're here in person and online, you don't got to worry about that because I, I put it up on the screen. Mies Morshir, Liyom HaShabbat, Tov Lehodot La Adonai, Ulazamer Leshimcha Elyon, Ulazamer Leshimcha Elyon. Mizmor shir li yom ha-shabbat Tov lehodot la-adonai Ulezamer l'shimcha elyon Ulezamer l'shimcha elyon L'chagid b'aboker chastecha V'emunad chava l'elo Shabbat Tov lehodot la Adonai Ulezamer l'shimcha elyon Ulezamer l'shimcha elyon Mizmor shir liyom ha-shabbat Tov lehodot la Adonai Ulezamer l'shimcha elyon Ulezamer l'shimcha elyon Welcoming Shabbat with light, we turn to the Blessing of Candles, page 3. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Kiddush 
Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, bore pari hagafen. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, ad sher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, v'ratzavanu. V'shabbat kodashov yahava uvratzon hinchilanu, zikaron lemaase v'reishit. Ki hu yom tehila lemikra e kodesh zecher letziyot mitzrayim. Ki vanu vacharta leotanu kedashta mikro ha'amim v'shabat kochecha Ve'ahava u'vratzon hinchaltanu Baruch atah Adonai mekadesh ha'shabbat Amen. Page 8. I begin with a prayer of gratitude for all that is holy in my life. God needs no words, no English or Hebrew, no semantics, and no services, but I need them. Through prayer, I can sense my inner strength, my inner purpose, my inner joy, my capacity to love. As I reach upward in prayer, I sense these qualities in my creator. To love God is to love each other, to work to make our lives better. To love God is to love the world God created and to work to perfect it. To love God is to love dreams of peace and joy that illumine all of us and to bring that vision to life. Page 20, B'lecha Dodi. Yes. B'lecha Dodi, to bring in and meet the Sabbath bride. B'lecha Dodi, li'ikrat kala, Pene Shabbat ne Kabbala Lech Adodi Likrat Kala Pene Shabbat ne Kabbala Shamor Vezachor Bidibur Echad Hishmianu El Cham Yuchad Al Adonai Echad Ushmo Echad L'Shem Multiferet Velitila Lecha dodi likrat kala Pene Shabbat ne kabala Lecha dodi likrat kala Pene Shabbat ne kabala Likrat Shabbat lechu v'lecha Ki himekor Habracha merosh mekedem Nesu chasof maase b'machashava tichila Lecha dodi likrat kala Pene Shabbat ne kabala Lecha dodi likrat kala Pene Shabbat ne kabala Hitoreri, hitoreri kiva Kivod Adonai alayich nigla Lech adodi leikrat kala Pene Shabbat ne kabala Lech adodi leikrat kala Pene Shabbat ne kabala Boi v'shalom atar et bala Gam v'simcha v'tzor Chatsi Kaddish is on page 26. Yitkata 
that's too high. I apologize. <laughs> just came out of nowhere. That was no, too I, high. I can get there. You can? <laughs> I, mm. That's, okay. Um, yet, yeah. Yet kada, yet kada, shame rabba. Yama di barak your tev yam lech malkute. Bechaye gone of yam echon, of kaye de compet yestrael. Bagala, bagala, of his man kariv. Vemeru, amen. Yehe shame rabba mevarak, le alam wal mehalaya, yit barak, yit barak, vishtabak, yit baar, yit romham, yit nase, yit hadar, yit halev, yit halal, shame de kudasha, rifu, le lam in kobirhata vishirata. Tu shbecha ta v'nechemata da miran bi'alma v'imeru amen. Page 28, please rise to Baruch Hu if you wish, the call to worship. Yai da 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 Top of page 31. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch Ata Adonai HaMa'ariv Aravim. Ahavad Olam, page 32. Here we go. Ahavad Olam. Bet Yisrael, Amchachta, Amchachta, Torah u'mitzvot, Chukim u'mishpatim, Otanu lemadeta, Yeah. 
Yahavat Chal Tasir Mimenu Le'olamim Baruch Atah Adonai Oheb Amu Yisrael Oheb Amu Yisrael Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Adonai Elohecha Bechol Levavcha Bechol Nafshecha Ubechol Meyotecha Behayu Hadvarim Ha'ele Asher Anochim Mitzavcha Hayom Alevavecha Veshinan Tam Levanecha Bedibar Tam Bam Veshivtecha Bevetecha Uvleftecha vaderech, ukshok pecha ufkumecha, ukshar tam leot al yedecha, behayun le totafot beine necha, uktaf tam al mezuzot betecha, uvisharecha. Leman tiskeru, the asitem et komitz votai. Ritem kiroshim leloechem, Ani Adonai Elohechem, Asher hotzeit yedchem, Meir etz mitzrayim, Lihiyot lachem lelohim, Ani Adonai Elohechem. Page 39, the top of the page. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. Adonai et Yaakov Ugalom 
yad chazak mi menu. Baruch atah Adonai ga'al Yisrael. Yes. Um, uh, the roster lies. I like Yismahu oh, more. No, it's just, I like Yismahu. They're on the same page. It's page 44. I just enjoy Yismahu more. No shade to Vishamru. It's just, a, I, I enjoy singing it. Yismahu, bottom of page 44. Yismahu v'malechu t'cha shomrei 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 shavat v'kore onek shavat Yismahu v'malechu t'cha shomrei 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 shavat v'kore onek shavat Ah, Mikadashe, Mikadashe Shavi Shabbat, Kulam Yisbeu, Vetang Yumatu Vecha Shabbat, Yismehu Vemalehu Decha, Shamre, Shamre, Shamre Shabbat Vekore, Oneg Shabbat. Yismehu v'malechu t'cha Shomrei, shomrei, shomrei Shabbat v'kore Oneg Shabbat V'hashvir Ratzita bo Ratzita bo v'grad Ashto Shabbat Femdad Yamim Oto karat Shabbat Yismehu v'malechu t'cha Shomrei, shomrei, shomrei Shabbat v'kore Oneg Shabbat Yismehu v'malechu t'cha Shomrei, 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 Shabbat v'kore, Oneg Shabbat. Zecher l'maasei, l'maasei v'reishit Shabbat. Zecher l'maasei, l'maasei v'reishit Shabbat. Yismehu v'malechu t'cha Shomrei, shomrei, shomrei Shabbat v'kore Oneg Shabbat Yismehu v'malechu t'cha Shomrei, shomrei, shomrei Shabbat v'kore Oneg Shabbat Top of page 45. We are a people in whom the past endures, in whom the present is inconceivable without moments gone by. The Exodus lasted a moment, a moment enduring forever. What happened once upon a time happens all the time. Please rise as we turn to the Tefillah, page 46. Adonai shefatai tifcha ufi agitechi latecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu Elohe avoteinu v'imoteinu. Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vehanora, El Elyon, Gomer Chasadim Tovim, Vechone Hakov, Vezoker Vatsay Avot Vimavot. Who may be you, Lali, Pne, Pne, Ham, Lemha, and Shemo, Via, Hava, Melako, Zeru, Moshia, Umagin, Baruchata, Adonai, Magin, Avraham, Vizra, 
Atsara Atagi Borli Lamadonai Nchaya Kolata Rav Levoshia Morit Hatam Mechel Kel Chaim Becheshet Mechaye Hakol Berachamim Rabim So Mech Noflim Berachamim Umatir Asherim Umichayim Emunato Nishayi Afar Mikamocha Bal Kiburot Please be seated. So on Shabbat, uh, we feel ourselves welling up in gratitude, I hope, or at least grateful for something in the week that passed. So uh, if you have a word of gratitude to share with us, a word of thanksgiving, uh, please do so. Thank you. Yeah, there. You know, yeah, there are two things that are, are bad for attendance at services. One is bad weather, and the other is good weather. <laughs> so I guess the third is a holiday weekend. So, uh, but we're yeah, um, yeah, we're delighted that you're with us. And folks at home, you get to to hear a few words from them in a, in a, in a little bit. Yeah. Same thing. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> great. Great. Thank. Oh, Mazel Tov. Where's this? In oh, so you'll get down there, I hope. I hope so. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. Folks at home, please uh, put your thoughts in chat. Uh, uh. Um, I'm grateful for, um, I think, is the ceasefire still going on? Yeah. Yeah, I'm grateful for that, the ceasefire, yeah. Um... And for our our new clergy to be here, it's great to see you guys and to meet you. Yeah, that's um that's what I got. Yeah, I, I'm also grateful and relieved. <laughs> so, so that's that's wonderful. So we take a few moments, um, holding in our hearts uh, things that are going well uh, for right now, and reflecting on those. Oh, I'm sorry, Marshall Sorgan wrote in chat that it's his wife's birthday today. Oh, Happy wonderful! Birthday to Happy birthday! Wife. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Happy birthday. So we take a few moments to reflect privately and then come together in song on page 62.
prayers now for all who are ill or injured or seeking strength of spirit. Uh, we name them privately, and uh, in a moment you can name them aloud. Uh, for now, uh, we were asked to include in our prayers Joan Sorgan, Don Sorgan, Whitney Klein, Nadine Miller, Ted Miller, Seth Miller, Danielle Miller, Samantha Miller, Jordan Miller, Sherry Copeland, Scott Copeland, Fred Rosenfeld, Deanne Rosenfeld, Jack Levitan, Isabella Lagamba, Robin Dunn, Ron Druckmann, Moses Powell, Margaret Powell, Yvette La Rochelle, Roberta Klein, Richard Grossman, Louis Allen, Audrey Hirsch, Barbara Kantrowitz, Stephen Nelson, Kathy Volpe, Marilyn Zaga, Michael Stewart, Tony Kippelman, Jay Kaplan, Jen Rubin, Robbie Hoff, Mark Hoff, Taylor Hoff, Dan Cerulli, Willane Cerulli, Leticia Cerulli, Fran Bem, Walter Bem, June Hess. Michelle Finley, Jay Hoffman, Dan and Lee Cerulli, Carl Lembo, Danny Russillo, Jim Cecile, Loretta Umlis, Audrey Goodplan, Tessie Mikos, Blanche Tyson, Jeffrey Side, Monty Side, Sheldon Levine, Richard Galvin, Richie Galvin, Carrie Galvin, Matthew Kent, Donica Kent, Donna Long Moran, Christine Lerner, Ann Beckman, Jean Kaplan, Hilary Lies, Tina Cohen, Myra Levine, Marie Vanquier and Kathy Goldsmith. If you wish to include any other names, uh, please place them in chat or mention them now here in the sanctuary. Misha Barach Prayer, page 253. Misha Barach to make our lives a blessing and let us say Week after week, the Torah fills with stories of our people complaining. Reminds me of a, a legend, I guess, or a story about a religious order marked by a rule of silence and where people got to speak just one time a week. A new resident came into the order, and after a week, the time came for him to share a few words with his superiors. His comment, bed hard. After week two, he offered food bad. By the third week, he was gone. When the heads of the order met to review the course of events, one remarked, no great loss there. We get plenty of guys like him. All they do is complain. All they do is complain, human nature, I guess, and we see it in this week's portion, Baha'u'llah, again. No sooner do we leave the land of Israel, the complaining begins. Food bad. We weren't getting any meat to eat. Bed hard. We slept on the desert floor, no mattress. Water lousy, it tasted bitter, and there was nothing else to drink. And we went on and later, go on in later portions to complain that we're, if we're ever to make it to Canaan, the land would be filled with so many hostile nations, we'd never survive. All we did to com was complain. Complaining isn't new to this week's Torah portion or the portion from a couple of weeks ago. We saw it in Exodus. The people complained to Moses, you brought us into this wilderness, the entire community will starve to death. So we complained about the food, God sent manna, we complained about that the water was bitter, God made it sweet, 
And here we are in the book of Exodus, just as, as we were in the book of Exodus, as we are here in this week's portion. Even though God looked after us and all our needs, all we did was complain. We complained to our leader Moses, who, according to the Torah, turned to complain to God. This is what the Torah says, he says, I can't do this work all by myself. If this is how you deal with me, you might as well kill me now. That's what Moses says, such sarcasm. The Torah tells us that Moses said just that. Even today, people are the same. Even when things get better, sometimes all we do is complain. When Jews from the former Soviet Union came to the United States, a story made the rounds. How was life back in Russia, an American-born Jew asked. I couldn't complain, was the response. And how was your standard of living? Well, I couldn't complain about that either. So why did you come here to the United States? Oh, sighed the new American, because here I can complain. The reality is that there's nothing inherently wrong with complaining. People, we all have a right to say how we feel. The question is over the amount of complaining and how we do it. On our Torah portion, commentator Pinchas Feli says that it, it wasn't as much a problem with complaining, it was as much a com uh, problem as I'm making it out to be right here, because he reads the portion differently. He reads the Hebrew to translate as the people were like complainers. It looked like complaining, but it really wasn't. That is, they complained among themselves and didn't complain to Moses. They didn't, and so nobody could do anything about it. They gossiped about Moses, they went around backbiting, but they didn't speak to Moses who was in charge. Now, it would have been one thing if they complained to Moses directly, complained to his face, but they didn't. They went behind his back. Pelly concludes that their sin was instead of addressing the person who could help them, they dealt with their frustration in a way guaranteed not to bring any improvement. Don't go about as a talebearer among the people, instructs the book of Leviticus. But the generation of the Sinai wilderness broke that rule and went around complaining about Moses instead of to him. Nothing can improve when the people in charge don't hear it directly. The generation of the wilderness complained, but not to change anything. They only complained to complain. It's important to direct one's grievance to the person in charge. Many responsible people like Moses want to know when something's not up to standard. They'll try to address a shortcoming and make things right, or if not, at least they'll hear it up front. So, for instance, if you're unhappy with the direction of the country, if you're unhappy with the direction the country is taking, and you want to complain to me about it, sure, I'm happy to listen. But if you want your complaining to make a difference, pick up the phone and call the people in charge. Call a policymaker, even at the city or state level. Your voice makes a difference. A few years ago, I joined my temple members in front of Senator Schumer's and Gillibrand, Senator Gillibrand's offices at a highest sponsored vigil on behalf of immigrants and refugees. We stood on a Manhattan sidewalk and we complained about the mistreatment of immigrants. You might wonder why we complained to representatives with a history of standing up for immigrants, but we weren't complaining about them. We gathered to thank our senators for their vision and leadership and encourage them to keep up the good fight on behalf of the people we were complaining for. A complaint like that helps a policymaker set priorities. That word of thanks ensures that our elected officials will take what's important to us, the things that we complain about, and put those things first on their agenda. So let me suggest, as we mark Shabbat as a time of reflection, that we consider what really bothers us, what we complain about, and who we complain to, and what we could possibly do to make things better and that we make ourselves part of the solution that brings our world closer to justice, goodness, and peace. Kain yehi ratzon, be this God's will. Aleinu, page 282. Please rise if you wish. Melech al-Kohar, 
Please be seated. And uh, before we turn to the words of the Kaddish prayer, uh, I invite you to turn to page 258 this uh, Memorial Day uh, weekend, Shabbat, as we remember those who served in our armed forces who made a great sacrifices on our behalf. The bottom of page 258. O guardian of life and liberty, may our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing it with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to the wonders of creation and alert to the care of the earth. May we never be lazy in the work of peace. May we honor those who have died in defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom and forbearance. May they govern with justice and compassion. Help us all to appreciate one another and to respect the many ways that we may serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife and our country be sound in body and spirit. And let us say, Amen. And uh, now as our service comes to a close, we think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us as we extend our sympathies to those who mourn the recent deaths of Joel Plavin and Dale Armentrout. And we name on their yard sites Gustav Lee Apt, Edward Bastian, Golda Bender, Dr. Philip J. Cantor, Viola Donau, Robert F. Douglas, Sanford Durst, Perk Edwards, David Elman, Florence Epstein, Betty Jane Ureller, Henry Katz, Harry Kay, Gertrude M. Landberg, Abraham W. Lipsman, Betty Medrick, Julia Miller, Maurice Morgenstern, Maurice Rich, Dr. Louis Rosenthal, Samuel Schur, Bertha Schoenbrunn, Marjorie Schreier, Jacqueline Schur, Abraham Suchow, Sarah Tafine, Jenny Teitelbaum, Minnie S. Weinberg, Hannah Wolf, and Anne Zissis. Uh, if you have any other names to include, please place them in chat or mention them now. Zichronam Levracha, may their memories be for a blessing. We turn to page 294 for the words of the Kaddish prayer. Please rise if you wish. Yitgadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah v'yalma divrach yirutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chayechon v'yom echon v'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael v'agala u'bizman kariv v'yimru amein yehe shemei rabah m'varach le'olam l'almei almaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnasei v'yitadar v'yitalev v'yitalal shemei d'kudasha b'richu Le'elam in kol b'erchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechemata, d'amiran b'yalma, v'yimru amen. Yehei shalama raba min shamaya v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'yimru amen. Ose shalom b'mromav hu ya'ase shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'yimru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel to which we say amen. Please be seated. So tomorrow morning, um, we have Torah study at uh, 9 a.m. on Zoom. We hope you can join us uh, next Friday night, um, uh, services at 7.30, and leading music um, next Friday is... Cantor Wolf. Cantor Wolf next Friday, thank you. And uh, thank you again to Thomas and to uh, Liv uh, for helping us... Uh, uh, as they always do, one in many and varied capacities. And I'm pleased to invite up uh, Rabbi Epstein and student Cantor Lerman to extend us a word of greeting. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. It's really great to be here. We're so excited to be able to come and see a temple and see the temple and be part of services and I want to just share that also in this week's Torah portion Baha we see the menorah for the first time in the Torah and it's such a beautiful ancient powerful symbol about how we bring light into the world and so I'm really excited 
to bring light into the world together with this new community starting in July 1st. And I look forward to meeting everybody more in person. And I look forward to working with Gabriel. Shabbat shalom. I couldn't have said uh, much anything better, but uh, I just wanted to say how grateful I am to be here. And, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the vein of gratitude and of light, I'm, uh, today is a pretty dark day uh, in terms of the weather, but um, I feel very bright anyways just because I'm here and it's mm -hmm. so nice to be here with everyone, really. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Rath. Thank you. Mazatov, great to have you with us. Thank you. Come back again soon. I know you will. <laughs> so we can, oh, uh, congregational meeting Sunday morning. June 13th, uh, on Zoom. Thank you again, Liv. Uh, you have a closing song for us? I don't, but I guess we could do Odi Voshala Malenu. Okay, that's a good one. I didn't plan one. I don't know why. I guess it slipped my mind. Odi Voshala is on page 353 in the bottom. Um, I always give this spiel. It's like a sentence long. It's just a run on sentence. I love this song the most out of any song that's like not a prayer um, because it's the song that I sang with like the three, mm, 30 other members of my Jewish Student Alliance back in high school, we would just break out into it with like, like a four part harmony, it's great. I just love the song a lot. Od yavo shalom aleinu, od yavo shalom aleinu, od yavo shalom salam aleinu ve'al kol haolam, salam, salam, salam. Od yavo shalom aleinu, od yavo shalom aleinu, od yavo shalom aleinu ve'al kulam. Od yavo shalom aleinu, od yavo shalom aleinu, od yavo shalom aleinu ve'al kulam. Oh, we can keep going. It's so fun. The music will continue. Shabbat it's a great shalom. song. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Thank you again. Yeah, of course. I'm just going to say goodbye to the folks at home. Hi, everyone. Thank